Thank God the RPG was so much easier to do than the Sigma and the M79, minus aerial streaks, but I'll cover how to do those extremely fast and efficiently in this guide on how to get the gold camo. On the RPG, everything's going to be timestamped and put into chapters, so if you want to skip through the video to some challenges that you're struggling with, you can do so very easily. The best game modes to do the RPG straight up is Nuketown 24-7, to get your eliminations and your aerial streaks. The best game mode to do your ground streaks extremely fast is gonna be Fire Team Dirty Bomb. Make sure you have Engineer as one of your perks so you can see enemy equipment, vehicles, score streaks, whatever, through walls. What I like to do is I like to pull my chute the second I spawn, wait for an enemy to get on a vehicle or wait for an enemy to deploy a sentry turret or rcxd and then i will fly down towards where they are and destroy them with the rpg you'll see gameplay of it when we cover that challenge specifically and the best way to level it up is either going to be playing fire team dirty bomb or nuke tone 24 7. if you are a zombies player you can level it up extremely fast in zombies but that's a pretty niche community of people that will level up zombie weapons first before multiplayer there is a total of 7 camo category challenges with 5 camos in each for a total of 35 before you can unlock gold. And then to get diamond, you have to get gold on the RPG and the Sigma, which I already have a guide up on my channel for both launchers now. Spray, you unlock at level 0. Stripes, you unlock at level 5. Classic at level 10. Geometric at level 15. Flora at 20. Science at 25. And Psychedelic at 30. Let's go right in depth to how to complete these challenges as fast as possible. Spray is 50 eliminations. If you're running around on Nuketown 24-7, you'll be getting tons of eliminations with the RPG. And if there's too many people running Flak Jacket on Nuketown, hit up that Hardcore Domination playlist. Yes, there are players that use Flak Jacket quite frequently in Domination, but not as much as Nuketown 24-7 I've found so far. Stripes is destroying 25 kill streaks, enemy equipment, enemy field upgrades it's really easy to do you'll complete this just based off of the geometric and flora categories by the time you have to grind those out so don't worry about stripes classic is three kills in a single life 20 times the only hindrance to this challenge is going to be flak jacket if the majority of the other team is all running flak jacket just leave the lobby and try and find a new one in nuketown 24 7 i've been blessed with some absolutely wonderful lobbies where no one's running flak jacket on the enemy team and i'm completing the three kills in a single life challenge like a couple times a game which speeds through this category extremely fast if you are struggling with this head into hardcore dom and just basically camp around a flag hold power positions and predict enemy spawns and sometimes you unfortunately will come across those flak jacket lobbies and once again just find a new lobby geometric is destroying 25 ground streaks as i said earlier the second you are spawning in a fire team dirty bomb game whether that be Ruka or Alpine or any maps released in the future, float in the air until an enemy either hops on a vehicle or calls in a sentry gun, fly down towards that enemy on the vehicle, or just fly towards the sentry gun and destroy it super easily. You only need 25 of these, and depending on your luck and how busy the vehicles are in-game, you can get anywhere between 5 and 15 vehicle or ground streaks per game. Also, the beginning of games for this strategy are slow because everyone's trying to plant the dirty bombs, but the second the first dirty bomb is destroyed, enemies all across the map are on vehicles for the rest of the game. Destroying 25 airstreaks is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be with the RPG. When you shoot the RPG at an airstreak, it doesn't travel in a straight line, and I'm going to show gameplay of me hitting UAVs and care packages, which are the two kill streaks that you're going to be destroying the most in the air. You can do the same strategy for the ground streaks just in Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Stay deployed in the air with your parachute out and wait for UAVs and choppers to be called in. Fly above the UAVs and choppers and destroy them with the RPG. However, air streaks have unfortunately been nerfed in Fireteam Dirty Bomb, so not as many of them are used. What I did to get all of my airstreaks was I was actually working on getting gold on the Gallo 12 and then every time I heard an enemy UAV or care package be called in, I would stop grinding my Gallo, pull up my RPG, and try to lead my shots with the RPG to hit the care packages and UAVs. Care packages are really easy to hit when they're dropping a package off for an enemy because they are stationary. 
so it's super easy to hit those uavs are a little trickier you have to judge the distance that the rocket will travel and try to guess where the uav will be by the time the rocket gets there and because the rockets don't fly completely straight sometimes you're going to be lined up perfectly for the rocket to make contact with the uav but the rocket might dip up or down or left or right missing the uav so it's all luck based and nuketown is really easy for this challenge as well because the uavs and care packages fly a lot lower to the ground than some of the other maps in combined arms so you can complete airstreaks in about two hours if you're just paying attention to when uavs are called in and when care packages are called in science is destroying three kill streaks in a single match whether that's rcxds sentry guns ground streaks enemies and vehicles as long as you're destroying three in a single round you will be making progression on this category this category will be completed naturally however if it slips your mind while you're grinding air streaks and ground streaks and it's your last challenge you have left just go into fireteam dirty bomb and then just destroy three vehicles with enemies on them in a single game psychedelic is the last category and this is 25 double kills i did not have an issue with this challenge whatsoever i was getting double kills on garrison which is a really good map crossroads which is probably the best map for double kills if you have done double kills with the m79 or the sigma 2 you will know the best double kill strategies just kind of hang around the b flags in hardcore domination on any map really it doesn't have to be crossroads or garrison it can even be on satellite which is where i actually finished my double kills where i think i got four or five double kills in a single game on satellite don't know why that map was so easy for me but hang around b flags in domination and you will get tons of double kills and i hope this guide did help you out with getting the rpg gold leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there is no hard feelings subscribe for more videos in the future in the description there's going to be the full dark matter and dark ether camo playlist with all my guides on how to fast and efficiently unlock those camos as well as the discord link if you guys want to come play games and hang out with us in server i'm about to head out and if there is one i'll see you in the next one peace